Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We keep telling that Indian Navy thinks futuristic and much better of our three armed forces in terms of procuring latest weapons and technologies. It's because of this India is completely self-reliant in construction of frigates, corvettes, destroyers and conventional and nuclear powered submarines. The recent RFI by Indian Navy for the procurement of four landing platform docks also shows Navy's vision and planning for the futuristic warfare. The RFI has been issued for procurement of four landing platform docks LPDs for Indian Navy. The tender is limited to Indian shipyards but those may answer with a foreign partner and designs which means Navy is promoting the indigenization. The anticipated delivery timeline for the first vessel is maximum 60 months followed by delivery of one vessel every 12 months from the date of contract awarded. Which means the first vessel to be rolled out 5 years after the contract signing and in next 3 years the complete 4 landing platforms need to be delivered. So what we are looking for is 8 years for completing this order. If you try to further understand the Navy's requirement, these types of landing platform dock shall be capable to transport land ashore a combined armed forces which includes tri services. If we try to further understand the Navy's requirement, these types of landing platform dock shall be capable to transport and land ashore a combined arms forces which includes tri services and it should sustain their operations on shore. This type of platform can carry out any type of land based or sea based operations. LPDs will have all types of required capability to counter any sea based threat and should be able to carry 900 combat troops. The LPDs should be capable of carrying prolonged operation on shore. It should have a capacity to embark and sustain a body of troops at sea for prolonged duration to go on board, store on board and discharge at objective point. LPDs will undertake out of area contingencies OOAC through its inherent capability to transport and deploy forces ashore ability to arrive quickly in the area and sustain operations at sea for prolonged durations. LPDs will act as a command center for commander, amphibious task forces, landing forces commander and air force commander and also undertake humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions. Additionally, LPD will also act as a mothership for unmanned capability and to support operations, exploitation of all dimensions of futuristic unmanned vehicles, platforms or equipments. The LPD will also provide medical facilities for the treatment of battle casualties. Talking about the technical specifications of LPDs, it will feature a crew of 540 sailors with the capacity to embark 900 troops. Ship should be up to 200 meters long with a draft up to 8 meters when fully loaded can achieve a cruising speed of 14 to 16 knots. The length of this LPD will be just 62 meters short from that of INS Vikrant. The range should reach 10,000 nautical miles at economical speed. The ships are to be provided with electric propulsion, integrated full electric propulsion or hybrid propulsion system. In terms of weapons, LPDs should be equipped with 32 vertical launch short range surface to air missile VLR SR SAM and 16 anti ship missiles. In terms of guns, the RFI calls for the capacity to embark 4 AK 630 CIWS with electro optical fire control system, 6 HMGs with stabilized gun control stations or SRCGs. Directed energy weapon in lieu of AK-630 when deployed and 8 MMGs. The sensor suite will consist of one E or F band combined air and surface surveillance radar, one 3D C or D band air surveillance radar, one surface surveillance radar, two I band, one E or F COTS radar and one EO IRST. All these sensors and radar will help to monitor any airborne and shipborne threats. Apart from this, it will have a communication link, fire control radar and navigation radar. The ship should have a through deck which means it will have an LSD landing helicopter dock rather than an LPD which is landing platform dock design. It should be capable of accumulating at least two heavy lift helicopters, 12 special operations helicopter and two 
NSUAS that is Naval Ship Born Unmanned Aerial System and permit simultaneous operations at at least four special ops helicopters which includes one NSUS in lieu. Out of these, 12 special ops helicopters and two NSUS would be stored inside hangar and at least two heavy lift helicopters should be parked on the deck in the blade folded configuration. The foremost helicopter spot is to strengthen to operate a heavy lift helicopter with a max weight of up to 40 tons. For the storage of helicopters in below deck hangarage, the LPD is to be fitted with two aircraft lifts, one main and one standby lift. The main lift should serve the hangar as well as the vehicle decks. Both should have at least 12 tons bearing capability. Talking about its amphibious capacity, each ship should be able to accommodate four LCVPs that is landing craft, vehicle personnel and four LCMs that is landing craft mechanized. Later, the ship are to be fitted to embark at least two LCACS in lieu of four LCMs. Talking about the foreign OEMs that are likely to compete for the Indian Navy LPD tender, they are Russia's Project 23900E, the export variant of Ivan Rogov class. Two ships are currently under construction at Zalik shipyard in Crimea for the Russian Navy. French Mistral class LSD. The three ships are currently in service with French Navy and two more with Egyptian Navy. They are built and designed by Naval Group. Spain's Juan Carlos I class designed by Navencia. A single unit is in service with the Spanish Navy, two with Royal Australian Navy and two more are under construction with Turkish Navy. German shipbuilder TKMS, who used to have LSD designed in mid-2000 known as MSD-150 or MRD. South Korea could also make a proposal having recent experience in building Dodko and Marado LHDs for ROK Navy. The Coaching Shipyard Limited, LT Shipbuilding, GRSC and Majgao Dock Shipbuilders are possible bidders and expected to respond for this RFI. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.